Hey, what's going on YouTube and today we're gonna to be doing a full review on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Yes, this is the edge version of the S6. Sorry about the blurriness. Um, but I got the gold 64 gigabyte version uh, Sorry, I haven't made a review on this thing yet because I just haven't had time to do it and I kind of forgot about it So I was like, oh, yeah, I need to do this. So First of all first cool thing about the S6 Edge is that it has an edge display. So if I were to turn it on you can see that the edge of the, edge of the screen is actually curved. So the screen's actually curved on um, both sides. So they call it dual edge. Um, cool thing is about this thing it also has fingerprint sensor, but it's like five times faster than the iPhone. I guarantee that. If I were just to press it like this and hold my finger on it, it would instantly unlock. There's no like delay, nothing. It just boom, there it is. So that's how that's how great the fingerprint sensor is on this thing. This has a QHD display, which is kind of like a 2K display, not 4K, it's 2K. It runs 5.0 Lollipop. I have, I have, um, I'm running 5.1.1 because there was an update recently, the 5.1. Um, so I'm running that. Um, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, all the latest standard cool awesome stuff. <laughs> um, also, you can have themes. So themes, uh, if I were to go into settings here. You can, go, you can actually go here and you can see themes, click themes, and you, actually, you can actually go to a store. They're all free, I think. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, some, of them, some of them might be 99 cents. I don't know. I'm not going to pay for one, pay for them. There's this real, really cool one called Material, and it puts all material design onto your S6, um, which is really nice. I love that. So that's why I have that one set. Um, this is what it is right here. I just have different wallpapers. So this has an octa-core processor. It's called. They have an Exynos 7 Samsung processor. They don't have. They don't have any more Snapdragon. Snapdragon is no longer in um, S6. They're all moving to Exynos octa-core. So this is eight cores, which is really fast. About the camera. So the camera is 16 megapixels. It has a Sony sensor in it. So they're using Sony on Samsung, whatever. But um, 16 megapixel. It can film in 4K. Um, for five minutes of a max. So if I were to go, as you can see, I'm not, it doesn't look too great on the camera when I'm video videotaping it with. But in real life, it, like real life, you can really see the detail um, very well. You can also move your finger to adjust the lighting or the exposure. Um, that's new in actually 5.1. So yeah, that's the pictures. Also, can record. There's many other things. So like mode, you can do pro, selective focus, panorama, slow motion, fast motion, virtual shot, dual camera, animated gifs. Around you can actually download more more um, options for the camera. So that's pretty cool. As you can see on the back, it has a super shiny pack. This is the gold version. I recommend the gold because it looks so cool. Um, the gold fingerprint the. Um, sorry, a heart rate sensor is much improved. Um, actually, I'm going to show you really quick. So let's go into health. That's health. Camera focus here. There it goes. Okay. So let's say I go measure heart rate. Hopefully this works. And you can see it. it's already sensing. It actually has a line that follows my finger on the back. I'm not going to talk much because it'll interrupt with it, but you can see. Sixty-eight. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but um, average resting range is um, it's actually in the range, so that's pretty good actually. Um, but yeah, it works really well. They really improved this a lot. It's much better. I'm not going to save that, it's kind of stupid. Um, so yeah, that's the heart rate sensor. Speaker on this is much more, much better. 
Um, as you can see, the bottom of the phone looks like uh, an iPhone, but obviously it's not an iPhone, um, but they kind of copied them a little bit, copied Apple a bit, because uh, I don't know why they just did. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the speaker, microphone, uh, USB 3.0, micro USB, and then uh, the headphone jack. And then the top is an IR blaster, which I never really use that much. Um, SIM card slot and another microphone for noise cancellation. Uh, volume rockers and power. I'm happy they don't have the power on the top because that was kind of stupid on the Note Edge. Um, Note 4 Edge or whatever it is. Um, all glass, both sides. So the shiny part obviously is glass. Uh, if you drop it, it will guarantee to be shattered. But it has Gorilla Glass 4. So it's not going to shatter as much is probably much less of a chance that you're going to crack your phone if you drop it but it'll still crack it's still glass but it's Gorilla Glass 4 so it's new technology and it won't crack as much but 5 megapixel um, selfie camera and then there's some sensors here for approximation um, this is a very high quality camera selfies are amazing on this phone amazing um, I know you can't see it from the camera if I turn it on it's not gonna really be worth it but they look so great um, from the front-facing camera um, you can actually access your notification bar from your lock screen which is really cool also your camera you can swipe for the camera and for the phone there's also a cool shortcut to the camera so if you double press the home button it instantly goes to the camera and you can instantly take a picture because I remember when first Samsung Galaxies or S5 and below, they had a major lag on the camera when you first open it. This is just instant. There's no delay, nothing um, on here. So it's really good. Um, also, with multitasking, you can see they have cards just like Note 4 or Lollipop. So that's standard, they have Close All. Also, with the S6, there's also something, with only with the Edge version, there's something called Edge Contact. And you can swipe. You see this little bar right here? It'll bring up contacts of um, of what you can, you know, select. Um, so you can like set color. So if someone calls, if it's down here, if it's facing down and stuff, you can the the edge would actually light up uh, a certain color. Whatever contact you assign to that little thing, to this thing, um, will light the edge up whenever it's face down. Also, if you lock it. Um, if you swipe like this, there's a there's an edge, so you can set it as like a clock or a, um, a bedside clock. Um, you can swipe through different notifications. Um, Blackhawks, whatever it is. Um, there it is. Yeah, my camera's really retarded, but. <laughs> um, you can, you can see that it'll swipe, and you can select the notifications, it'll ask for you to unlock, and it should go right into whatever I selected, yahoo.com slash TV, and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it on the S6 Edge, um, I do recommend if you want a Galaxy, get this, this is a great phone, it's absolutely amazing, there's, no, there's nothing I can see that's wrong with it, nothing, um, everything's so positive about it, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, 